What it is, what it do, welcome back to the vlog, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy. Today, I am on my way to the shop to put in some upgraded high pressure fuel pumps. Okay, I'm gonna break in right there because uh, that job went so quickly that, you know, it's no point to even actually show the whole install. It was literally just taking out the old pumps, putting in the new pumps. I wanted to say big shout out to Yepison RS7 because he did have an extra set of Hitachi pumps as well as the Autotech plungers that were that were made it together all at once. And he, he did sell me those. So big shout out to Yepison RS7. He went air to air and he has port injection on his, so there's no need for the upgraded plungers when you have four pumps essentially that's supplying your fuel so the pumps are installed and we are about a week down so yeah back you know been on a bit of a hiatus in regards to the spark plugs install that was a pain i know i said i was gonna make a video about that and i did uh but but it was it was so just let's just say it was a pain in the it was a pain in the arse uh let me show you what i'm talking about all right, I don't know if you can see the motor. It's kind of dark, I got the lights on in here. But anyway, in order to get to the spark plugs on the passenger side, I had to remove the inlets. So if you have the long uh, SRM inlets, uh, you're gonna have to remove those inlets. So that essentially that's removing the throttle body, uh, those silicone couplers right there, uh, pulling it off, getting the inlets off. And then you gotta get down here, in here, to undo all of the cam position of sensors and then undo the actual coil packs, pop those out, pull, pull the spark plugs out. So this side is the easier one. This side here was a pain in the butt because then you have to remove the coolant reservoir, you have to dig around because there are screws down in there. Like I said, I don't know if you can see my hands, but screw down in there. There's screws in all kind of weird pos positions, pulling all the stuff out. That alone was just a pain in the butt. And here's some blurbs of, of the whole ordeal. All right, so right here, those bolts right there are T30s. Got one right here, There's one, right one here. there, and one up there that basically holds this rail. Pull that rail off, and underneath should be the coil packs. The left side? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a pain in the arse. Oh, what? Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, I know, see, yeah. Just like he said. Well, I'm... This one, yeah, just to show you, it was definitely time. There we go. So yeah, that one's a little rich there. Run a little rich, maybe these... Maybe those weren't really meant to run E85, but the Baru from France, Germany, I don't, I don't know where they're from. They're from some faraway land. France. 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 Oh, okay. croissant. The French. They have really good macaroons. These are nickel plated or copper core nickel plated. So these are a step colder, so that should help with igniting E85 because I do like to run uh, a blend of ethanol as well as 91 to get a 93 octane uh, tune. You know what that means? Bigger bang, more horsepower. Okay, so I got everything on the right hand side buttoned back up. Put the spark plugs in, put the coil packs in, make sure that all the cam adjuster sensors are on. Put the reservoir back in its place. I'm going to actually put my turbo inlets back in there. She's cracking along. Owie, really? Come on telling me right now. But everything got done. Once you upgrade your pumps, you, then you can go to a stage four. So on the S7 stage four, on an RS7, it'll be stage three. Once you do the pumps, you can actually go to a stage four high pressure fuel pump flat. Now, when doing that, don't think you can just automatically run full ethanol because there's still two important things you need to do before you decide to run full ethanol. You're gonna have to upgrade the lines from the low pressure fuel pump also Eventually down the road, you're gonna have to upgrade the low pressure fuel pump as well, because again, you're gonna be putting a lot of strain on that low pressure fuel pump if you're running full ethanol, because it can't keep up with the demand once you actually start tuning the car for E85. But anyway, you can run up to an E50. So that's in our cars, it'll be like 10 gallons of ethanol to nine gallons of 91 to get an E50 blend. Also, you wanna get an ethanol sensor. That is something that's coming up. I wanna get the lines and as well as the, the sensor. So the DS1 will recognize the ethanol content and adjust the tune accordingly. Here, here's a little bit of a, here's a bit of a interesting news, if you will. So your boy, your boy may have landed a sponsorship. And, and, and I, I mean, a, like a legitimate sponsorship. I was reached out to by ARM Motorsports and they do a lot of N54 motor uh, mods, like intercooler, charge pipe, down pipes for them. Uh, they also do a lot of stuff for the S4, Audi, the 
A4 4.0, or not the 4.0, but the, the 2.0, uh, but they just jumped in the 4.0 game. So your boy got a set of mid pipes and they're here. And I'm also, I'm also gonna be getting a set of down pipes from them too. So we're gonna do a full review on that setup. But let me show you the mid pipes. Just use the garage, you know, it's a garage, it is what it is. But anyway, these are the mid pipes. I, I've done a bit of an unboxing. They have the upgraded flex coupler on here, the accordion style versus the mesh. Uh, I've seen those mesh couplers basically melt away after time. They look good. Uh, let me actually, hold on, let me, let me uh, open that all the way up. Hold on, I'll be right back. I had to set you up on black mic there. Anyway, yeah, like I said, so these are the mid pipes, so they go from the down pipe and it'll attach all the way or attach to your, your stock setup. But with mine, I don't have a stock setup. Like I have the APR X pipe that I'm gonna have to figure out how to integrate that with this as well. Or if I wanna integrate it at all, I may just not wanna run an X pipe anymore. This is good quality with me being a welder. <laughs> I'm looking at the wells. The wells are pretty good on here. I, I definitely dig the wells. So that, yeah, they're, they're quality wells on here. The diameter of this is two and a quarter. So, and that's two and a quarter outside. So it's probably gonna be two and three sixteenths on the inside. So I'm, I'm excited about the down pipes that I'm getting from now. With the emissions restrictions that's going on, the down pipes that I did ask that they send to me will be catted, but they are 200 cell. So on my WRX, I had a 200 cell catted J pipe on there and I still saw a really good power. I know you can get more power when there is no cats on it, but I wanna try to stay as emission complete client as I possibly can. Anyway, another thing that I like about that, uh, I never had a sponsor do this. I've never had a sponsor, to be honest with you. Um, but the sponsor, they sent me this and they sent your boy a blow pop. You don't understand. You don't understand what that means. I grew up in the hood. I'm not gonna lie. North City, St. Louis. Blow pops and now laters and Chico sticks. Uh, Mike and Ike's, Red Hots, all that stuff there. You know, that's just nostalgic for me and I appreciate that. That, that's, I like that. I'm not saying this is specifically a hood candy, but you know, we used to, this is our shit in the hood, you know what I mean? So, big shout out to ARM Motorsports. I appreciate you allowing me to be a spokesman for you. I'm excited to try out your product. I am excited to get the downpipes. Those will come, those are coming in August. But things that I got coming up next on the car is my SRM motor mount is in. Uh, I am B, get out of here. I am upgrading the actual lines on my car and I'm upgrading the heat exchanger. So I'm going with an APR um, heat exchanger. So, but anyway, as always, I appreciate you guys sticking around with me. I appreciate the guys that jumped on board to see what's going on. As always, like, share, turn on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. Browse through my channel, man. Look at my old videos. I'm not, like I said, I'm not, this is not new to me. I started with my WRX, now I'm in the S7. I'm gonna keep building on this, you know? This is what I wanna do. And, and like I said, I appreciate you guys sticking around and, and joining the, the army. So until then, I'll holla.